universe since Minecraft was released in 2011, there have been reports of scary seeds, entities, and even blocks. Many have screenshots, witnesses, and video evidence. But others have been completely deleted off the internet by Mojang. But why? Be warned! We're testing the myths that they don't want you to know about. Up first is a cross possible in natural generation. And if so, what does it mean? To test this, I'm using seed 666. And this is a subreddit obsessed with collecting and analyzing evidence dedicated to busting this myth. I mean, they even have hard screenshot evidence with exact coordinate locations, which we're going to test. And if you guys don't believe us, you can try teleporting to this exact location as well. But what makes this seed so special? The number 666 is also known as the devil's number, leading some to believe this seed is cursed. But is there any proof? From spawn, this seed looks perfectly normal. So I've written up a list of every single coordinate that players have reported. This is the first one I've got written here on my list. So let's find out together. Okay, we're loading in and okay, that's a little strange, but totally normal Generation. I don't know why he's sniffing that chicken's butt, but I'm not seeing a crow. Bro, these floating islands are weird. What are those floating blocks? Nothing about that is exactly like cursed. What do you guys think? Wait. Do I see it? No. It's, it's real. Look. Cross. Not just any cross. This is an upside down cross. This usually symbolizes evil. It could just be natural generation. I mean, there is some pretty crazy stuff going on here and it looks like it's just a part of the mountain. Maybe it just means nothing unless there's something I'm missing. I went to the coordinates of every single screenshot. The crosses were real, but there was no evidence to suggest they were cursed until this happened. No, 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 am I recording now? Okay, I'm recording now. Holy, no, 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 no. What? You will not believe what I just saw. Holy, I, I can't, can't believe, believe I turned off my recording. I thought we were done. Bro, I would have had proof. Are you serious? Wait. Okay, I wasn't recording with OBS. I wasn't recording my screen, but I had replay. I had replay footage recording. We stopped recording, that should save. Please, 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 come on, please save the replay. Yes, saving replay file. It's going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please don't corrupt. It worked. It actually worked. Here we go. We're loading in. Come on, come on. Why is it taking so long to load? No. Guys, this has never happened before. Normally it at least says loading. Oh, what do we do? Is it corrupted? I guess we have no choice but to wait this out. So while we wait, why is Mojang trying to hide this computer file in your world. Here's a video one of you sent me on my Minecraft server. And if you also want to help me out, you can join using the IP address play.eyserver.com on Java and Bedrock Edition. So what, he opens his world and what are these files on the left here? Advancements, data, data packs. Oh, yo, these are his save files. Okay, so what file is he trying to open? Session.lock and hold up, pause. What's that error? Cannot open file. So what? He just opens it again. I mean, this notepad plus plus is a simple text editor program that he's opening with. I use it all the time and yet he can't open. I use this to open all my Minecraft files. Surely I can open this one too. To check this yourself, go to the start menu, and type in percent app data percent, which will take you to all of your computer files, including your game files. Now, I'm 98% sure that that video was taking place inside the saves folder, more specifically, the world save file that he had open in Minecraft. So I created a brand new world. So these are all fresh files. We're looking for something called session.lock. It's this last file here and already something's a bit different, which he didn't show in his video, but look, the icon isn't loading. Like these other icons, 
They've loaded. Guess we can only just try to edit it now. Wait, hold up. Nothing happened. Wait, guys, look at this. When I go to click it open, it just doesn't do anything. It just doesn't react. Well, what did he do? He was using Notepad++. Maybe I have like a newer version and that will let us open up this file. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try and I got the same error. Error cannot open file. What is in here? Okay. Maybe we try a completely different software. So clicking it doesn't work. Notepad doesn't work. You know what's really reliable? Microsoft Word. That works with everything, right? Surely. Come on. Wait, session.locked is locked for editing by another user? What does that mean? Okay, uh, open a read-only copy. Wait, word experience an error trying to open the file. What? So Mojang has given us access to basically every game file. Let, let's have a look at this. We can access everything else in, the, in, in Minecraft. So, you know, we want to look at the options. Bang, it's all just there. I mean, you can open any file here because the computer has to be able to read it. So why are they trying to hide just this file? To find my answer, I messaged an old friend who used to work at Mojang. This is what he said. All right, take a look for yourself. Basically, he's asking us to crash the game at the exact same time we open the file to somehow glitch the code. I this sounds impossible. The, the timing has to be so perfect. So we've got Minecraft in the world open. I've got task manager here, and this is our Minecraft, the Java platform. And basically the minute I hit end task, that should crash the game. We've got a very small window to come down here and open with Notepad++. Ready and... It worked, it worked, we're in. Wait, what is that? Is that a snowman? Why out of all things is Mojang hiding a snowman? We have to check this world and see if anything has changed and... Nope, nothing. But it is a snow biome and it was a snowman. You know, <laughs> I'm honestly out of ideas. I know this is gonna sound stupid. Let's just build a snow golem. That's the only thing I can think that's connected to snowmen in the slightest. Okay, like the fact that it's a snowman is already stupid enough, okay? Just, okay, ready, let's give it a go. Wait, what, huh? Is this not, is my world lagging? I, I don't understand. Like what? Wait, it just, it just crashed. Ain't no way. That file and a snow golem have to be connected. I'm gonna check every single save file to figure this thing out. Okay, my hardcore world and, hold up. Level dot dat, level dot dat. There's, the file should be there. Whereas the session dot lock file, it's not here. No, 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 no. Wait, my Grimace Shake video, not here. What? Oh no, I just realized something else too. The world, new world 11, it, the literal world file is gone. What? It's not in my, my other folder of worlds. It's, it's just not there. It's deleted. Did Mojang just stop me from discovering something? You guys need to try it and let me know in the comments. But you know what Mojang isn't hiding? This dark secret message inscribed on every end crystal. Usually we're trying to destroy them as quickly as possible and not taking a very close look. Because when you do, you might notice these little scribbles, the drawings on the side. And I honestly thought this was just a design thing. Did you know they're the same on every single one? They're symbols, but how do we decode them? Every symbol in the world is part of a language. As long as we can figure out what the language is, it should be easy enough, right? Wrong. The end crystal language is called the standard galactic language. And we've got an entire transcription chart. Believe it or not, it's actually in another video game called Commander Keen. I've never heard of it, but why is Mojang using it? And what does it mean? I actually thought this would be easy and then I realized it turns around and spins and is covered by fire. <sighs> we're just gonna have to do one symbol at a time. That's the best we're gonna get. All right, um, that kind of looks like a uh, three dots. Okay, wait, 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 what's that? J, J is our first letter, J. Uh, okay, it's like a curve thing. The chart here says that that is the same symbol for O, J, O. Oh, yo, 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 wait, I know that symbol. It's the, I've got the chart here, all right? Just believe me, okay, that's the M. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this, wait, that symbol is N. Okay, great. Uh, I think that's, I think that's A. I'm 90% sure that's A. Okay, the last side, where are you? Is that G? Yes, all right. Those are our letters. Joe Manag? What, what does that mean? Maybe it means something in another language? So the letters were like what? Joe Manag? 
Okay, it says it's Sudanese, but it's translating to the same thing in English. So clearly it's not a real word. Duh, unless the letters are in the wrong order. I just wrote them down in the letter. I saw them, but that might be the wrong order. Hold up, hold up. Maybe we move these letters around and see if they spell anything. No, it says it's Maori, but again, it's not translating. Maybe we move the M here. No, okay, let's try again. Just do a random order. Jam, jam go. No, this, th dare to touch? If you touch an end crystal, it explodes and kills you. So why is the game daring us to touch it? It's almost like wants us to. This could be the word, but maybe I'm missing something and there's actually a different word. Maybe Ong Jam. One hour in Sudanese. One hour to do what? What does that mean? Uh, maybe we could go M-O-J-A-N-G? Wait, I'm stupid. It translates to Mojang, right? I mean, I mean, it's their game and they put it on the end crystals as like an Easter egg, but what about the other creepy messages? Are they real? Let me know what you guys think. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Is that grass? Hey, no way. I was in... I mean, I'm in the end. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. The grass, my replay, the replay file was loaded. Okay, we got to load this up. This is it. I can finally show all of you what I saw. So what? It would have been like pretty near the end of this recording, right? I don't know, somewhere like about here. But I actually thought that I'd lost this file. This is it. This is the right location. Where? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, So I right here. I teleported into this location and then I came forward here and then it, it, it appeared right there. You guys can like line this up. If you rewind to start the video, this is where I was, where it happened. Okay, so I, I came around here and then I was like looking around from memory. Yeah, 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 yeah. So nothing was happening here, but it's when I came back down and it was right here. Wait, where is it? Wait, you can see me looking there. You can see me. No, no, I promise guys, I saw it. I'm not making this up. I promise. He must have corrupted the replay file or something. There, 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 there. You can see they're invisible foot. Look, look, look. There's clearly invisible footsteps there. And then, the, and they're gone. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. What? I'm not lying, okay? You saw the footsteps, so something must be going on there. Why did it not show? Okay, wait, wait, maybe we're like rewind way back. Maybe it's like didn't render or something. We just need to like refresh the replay file. Ha! Huh. Wait, it just loaded, but I'm in a completely different location. Wait, oh my gosh, I went way too far back. This was one of the first crosses we found. See, I'm telling you, see these crosses are here, guys. I just, I don't understand. Okay, you know what? We'll just set it in play from here, right? I Wait, no, I think there's a couple more crosses in between there. Okay, maybe we do like skip forward. Like, where does it happen? I need to get this right. Uh, 526? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Guys? You see this? Look at this villa. He's just making a beeline from the village up to the cross. No, no, no. I did not see this when I was looking. I mean, I flew away. You saw. How? What? I didn't even mean to, I didn't even see that in the end of the video. I didn't see a villager. Hold up, hold up. When was the, the next, did this happen at the other crosses we went to? Wait, wait, somewhere like 3.30ish? Hold up. I need to teleport to us again. Okay, I'm in inside myself. We're in the desert. This was one of the other crosses that I teleported to. I wasn't lying. You can see I literally found so many of these things, but I thought they were completely normal. I, I even said before, I didn't find any evidence that they were cursed, but I didn't see the villagers before. What? Okay, so I'm looking at it. I'm inspecting it. I'm trying to find any kind of evidence. When do I fly away? Because it seemed like last time I left and that's when the villager just appeared. Okay, I'm off. I'm gone. And now what? I'm keeping my eyes dead on this. You guys see anything? I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom out. You see anything out of the ordinary, let me know. I know I've been really bad in previous videos. I miss stuff because I'm like trying to, I'm trying to keep you guys entertained, right? I'm looking at the camera and I miss stuff. Anything, do you see it? There, 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 there. What? Where did this guy come from? There is not even a village inside. There is no village nearby. Where did this guy come from? Wait, but he's not walking towards the cross, is he? I... What? He just slept in the cross? How? How? That, that, is that even possible in Minecraft? No. Are these crosses like controlling the villages? How are they connected? Where was the next cross? Was it like six minutes, maybe? Okay, I think this was like the, the snow biome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the snow cross. We're checking around. We're doing the checks. Any villages? Any? None. Okay, so I've flown away. Right, I'm gone. Is the villager going to appear somewhere? There! There! It just spawned out of thin air! Is this seed? Spawning them in. Is this the curse of 666? I mean, it happens every time I leave. Is it somehow watching me? Can, it, can a seed watch me? Can it be alive like that? I don't know. But this isn't the only terrifying scene. 
There are seeds that repeat infinitely. And some players even claim to hear the screams of children in their world. And to start, has Mojang been lying to us about blood rain since 2012? To find out, we've gone back in time to version 1.4.2. Now, this update was released on October 24th, 2012, alongside Halloween, and they named it the Pretty Scary Update, which sounds pretty suspicious to me. Now, this update brought mobs like the Wither and Witch for the very first time, and as you can see, it is really, really old. These graphics are awful, it's not even loading. But allegedly, they also added blood rain. At least that's what players claimed, posting videos online about it and tweeting it out. But the creator of Minecraft, Notch, denied all these reports, claiming that no one ever programmed it into the game. Which might be true because no future updates have the blood rain. However, this isn't the first time Mojang has lied to players about accidentally adding something and then fixing it. Now, obviously the easiest way to test is just by making it rain. And luckily this update commands will also add it. So let's have a go. Okay, here goes nothing guys, get ready. That looks red, that looks red. Oh, it doesn't look red. I'm actually stupid. Bro, did I actually just get convinced by all of these myths and stories on the internet? Are you serious? This is just normal rain. There ain't nothing blood or scary about it. But then again, could blood rain just be something that happens naturally? I mean, why would Mojang make a command for something they're trying to hide? Well, maybe they are telling the truth and it actually has something to do with Halloween. Wait, I have an idea. Instead of letting my computer set the time automatically, I'm going to turn that off, which will now allow me to set the date and time manually. And we're going back to October 31st, the day of Halloween in 2012, because if the Mojang devs are telling the truth, maybe there's something much spookier going on. After all, this is the scariest holiday of the year. Who knows what's controlling this? And you know what? Just for extra spooky, we're going to exactly 3 a.m. All right, my computer, it's time has been changed. Great! Literally the only thing that changed was it stopped raining, which is useless to us since we're actually looking for rain. Now, we used a command last time, but this time I want it to spawn naturally and see if that makes a difference. However, I have absolutely no idea how long it's going to take to rain or even if it will rain at all on Halloween. While we're waiting, what happens if you travel beyond the Far Lands? Far Lands, man. A black entity with glowing red eyes and bloody teeth. First seen by Tom in Minecraft Beta 1.7, the final version of Minecraft to ever include the Far Lands before it was removed. The Minecraft launcher actually allows us to play older versions of the game, including Minecraft Beta 1.7. There it is, guys. The very final version to include the Firelands, which we can now investigate for ourselves. And here we are on one of Minecraft's very first menu screens. We're going to jump into single player and create a brand new world. This version is so old, I don't even have the option to switch into creative mode, and we don't need to see it because the Firelands are in every world. All right, we've loaded it, and holy moly, guys, these graphics are so bad. Yo, the lighting is so pixely and blocky. Oh my goodness, I don't even have a skin right. What menu did I just bring? What is this menu? Okay, how do I switch perspective? Okay, so there we go, I'm back. I don't have the skin, I'm literally just Steve. But we're here for the Far Lands, and to get there, they're at the border of the world. Are you kidding? It's gonna take me forever to get to the border of the world. Can I use commands? There, there isn't even a chat. The Minecraft world is literally seven Earths big. That's 12,550,800 blocks. How long would that even take us? Well, let's assume that we walk about 4.3 blocks per second, which I'm pretty certain is the figure, which would mean 810 hours or 33 days of straight walking for us to ever reach the Firelands border. No wonder so few people can confirm or deny the story of Firelands Man. However, luckily, thanks to modern technology, I think I've just had an idea to hack this world and our save file in order to change the coordinates of our player all the way next to the Firelands. But I'm gonna have to do a bit of research. This is the .minecraft folder. It contains all the files of the game, including our saves in this folder here. Now, the important file here is this 
level dot dat. It's an MBT firewood. So I found this MBT editor online, as you guys can see here. If we click on this data here, let's see what that gives us. Okay, player. That's what we're looking for here, guys. So let's click on our player just there. Pause. Wait a minute. Pause is short for position. Let's click on that. Let's see what we've got. Three numbers. We've got zero, one, and two, which I'm assuming are our X, Y, and Z coordinates. So zero here. We need to change this to the location of the far land. So if we click on this, okay, we can enter in a new value. So I, I think it has to be one, two, five five zero seven hundred that should be right near the far lands okay good then we'll do the exact same thing with our two here and we should be right in the corner of the far lands and finally guys just so we make sure we don't spawn in the ground here let's change our y value to 75 and that should be good and here we go the moment of truth let's jump into the world guys let's see if this works oh my goodness where in the world am i okay my coordinates definitely changed and I think that's it. It actually worked. Oh my goodness. We need to get a little bit closer so we can see into them, I suppose. See whether we can find whatever this Firelands man is. Got my player is glitching so much. Look at this. I can't even walk forward. I can only walk like one block at a time. This is so, so whack. Okay, while we're trying to make it to the Firelands, let's answer a few questions. Why did Mojang have to remove an entire biome, known as the Firelands, just to remove this one entity? Well, the Firelands man was apparently extremely cruel. Reported to have killed many players and deleted their worlds, taking their souls to keep in the far lands, guarding them from anyone who gets too close. Reports say he has super speed and the ability to teleport, and he always has an axe ready to murder with. We are coming right up to the edge of the far lands, and now we just need to get a little closer, look into them, and see if we can find the far lands man. Ah, oh, guys, I am really struggling to make it any further into the far lands. My game is just lagging more and more. I've literally got less than a frame right now. It just freezes, freezes, and okay. I'm literally going through blocks right now. What? Okay, come on. We need to just get towards... If we can just look inside the Far Lands, we can see if we can see anything strange. Okay, let's have a look there, guys. Do you see anything? Wait. I can't move anymore. I literally can't move anymore. What? Guys, my keyboard and mouse isn't working anymore. Wait, guys, look. They're in the distance, in the fog. Do you see that? Is that Far Lands, man? Wait, my game just crashed using Orphanage as the seed on Bedrock Edition, you can allegedly hear children's screams, specifically in the deep, dark caves. And I'm not seeing a lot of deep, dark caves. We gotta find some. Finally, some caves, and these look dope. Loki would build my base here as long as it's not haunted by scary dead children, which, I mean, it shouldn't be. It's Minecraft. Let's be real here, guys, all right? We'll head inside here, and now we just gotta listen. Okay. Classic Minecraft cave sounds. Yes, they are scary, but I mean, they're not dead children, all right? Do we see anything? Are we hearing anything? More cave sounds? Yeah, all right, guys. I'm calling this one cap right now. Wait, that was a kid. That sounded like a screaming girl. Ain't no way. Suddenly, I heard the sound of heavy rain, but it wasn't coming from outside. It was coming from Minecraft. Okay, I got to bring this over from my other monitor. Let's have a look at... No! No! What? I can't believe it. The blood rain, it's real. What does it mean? What is it doing? What is- I don't get it. Blood rain? There's no way this is real. I'm seeing it with my own eyes. You guys, listen. Did Mojang lie? Is there something else going on here? Or does this have to do with Halloween? Who's telling the truth? Who's not? If Mojang kept this hidden from us, what else are they hiding? Hidden entities? Portals to another dimension? I don't want to stay here. I don't want to know what this means. That's a test for another video. So, until then, if you see these two Steves in your world, run! And if the crying obsidian in your portal starts to drip, do not enter it. 28984925. The first scene where Entity 303 was seen. We're going to turn off multiplayer so no one can join the world. There are no resource packs and no behavior packs. This is completely normal vanilla Minecraft. Now many call Entity 303 the new hero Brian and was first spotted on this seed on Minecraft Xbox Edition on December 10th, 2013. From the get-go, I'm not seeing anything strange or unusual that could suggest to me that Entity 303 was corrupting this world. Maybe there's something else hiding below the ocean surface? Let's give ourselves night vision and see whether we can see anything, guys. So we're gonna go at P, night vision, and let's have a look under the ocean. Wait, guys, are you seeing this? Look at that coral. Does that look familiar to you? It kind of looks like it's repeating itself. Look at this, guys. We've got this red and yellow coral structure. And then again here, and again here, and again, and again, and again, and again. 
What? This seed is constantly repeating. What in the... And it's only like this area here. But then the surface of the world is totally unaffected. Oh my goodness. Guys, look, the duplication continues to get bigger and bigger, consuming more and more of the world. But guys, this Entity 303 was actually first spotted by a player called Frankie. And when he saw this entity, he sent an email to Mojang. I'll read you out part of it. He goes, hi, my name is Frankie. I'm a huge fan of Minecraft. And I've been playing for about two years now. Every day after school, me and my friend John would always play on his private server. One day, we were all in a group Skype chat and we were working on a huge survival city and we were in the process of building for at least eight months. For some reasons, John's player just stood still. I assume it's just lag, but he's not even speaking on the Skype call. I check Skype and see if he's still online. No answer. He's not even talking. That's just part of the email there, guys. There's still more, but as you can see, the repetition seems to have stopped. No, it hasn't. Look at that, guys. The trees are still repeating here. It's weird. It's picking and choosing, whereas normally in these repetitive seeds, it repeats everywhere. Maybe we can test whether or not this is actually world generation or whether or not something might be glitching out the world by heading to the end, guys, and seeing whether there's still repetition occurring in the end. So let's go ahead and place down each of those, guys. We are heading to the end. Bam, boom, bada, bam, and through we go. Now, I'm going to continue the story here. Let me go ahead and clear our night vision so we can explore the end without any distractions. All right, so coming into the end dimension, guys, I'm not seeing any repetition here on the main end island. So let's go ahead and kill the ender dragon. As I'm doing this, guys, let's continue the story or the email that was written to Mojang. Frankie writes here, guys, suddenly my screen starts glitching. It's not normal for Minecraft to bug out like that. It looked like it was corrupted or something, and if that's not bad enough, the chat starts spamming Object Summoned Successfully by Player.Number303. He looks at the Skype chat and realizes that someone has joined the call. Guys, this is getting stranger and stranger, but we haven't seen anything in the text chat so far, so I'm beginning to see that this seed is not infected by Entity 303. Now, as we head to the end city here, guys, let me continue the story. The chat says one more thing. Make a wish, and the player runs up to me and hits me. For some reason, it makes the oof noise that used to exist in beta and earlier. My computer shuts off. Wait, what? Guys, I was reading the story there, and I just noticed... What in the world is up with this end dimension? It's duplicating, just like the surface, guys. This is so strange, look at this. We have duplicate end islands all the way through, duplicate chorus food plants. We have ourselves an end city here with, oh my goodness, this is a ginormous end city, guys. I have to finish this story of Entity 303. Entity 303 was created by a Mojang employee, supposedly, who was fired by Notch, the original creator of Minecraft, back when the game was first starting. So apparently now Entity 303 wants revenge on Mojang and all the Minecraft players alike for forgetting him. Some even say that Entity 303... Look, another End City! What even these are repeating? Some even say that Herobrine came to warn us about this Entity, as signs have been seen in Hacked World saying help in Swedish, the language of Notch, the original creator of Minecraft. This is all really strange, guys. The seed is really messed up. But I reckon that there's one way for certain to see whether Entity 303 is in this world. Apparently, if he's in your world, Herobrine will leave signs saying help in Swedish, which is, you know, Notch's original language. I don't know if we can somehow, you know, convince Herobrine to leave a sign to prove to us that this world is infected by Entity 303. But we're going to leave down this sign here that just says, Hi, Entity 303. All right, we're just going to leave this here. And we're going to see whether or not that this changes to help in Swedish. I'm assuming if I stand here, guys, Herobrine's not going to show himself. Neither is Entity 303. So we're going to leave the world for the time being and come back later in the video. So while we wait, does Crying Obsidian actually have a portal trapped inside it? Personally, I believe this theory might be true because we've seen stuff trapped inside of blocks before like souls inside of soul sand. But the strange thing with this block is the color of whatever is trapped inside of it has actually changed from blue to purple. Now, I can already see you guys typing in the comments, hey, you ice cream, what are you talking about? This has always been the texture for Crying Obsidian, except it hasn't. Now, you guys might not remember because it could be before you were born, but back in 2012, Crying Obsidian was added to version 1.3 for just a few days, and back then it had a totally different texture with blue cracks instead of as if it was actually crying real tears. So why did Mojang feel the need to change it to a portal? color unless what else was released during the same time as this update guys wait amethyst 
that's the same color. This was also added in this update. So maybe they're connected. Maybe this block could be the portal source for this. It has the same color and everything. I spent hours researching, but found nothing about amethysts and portals being connected. Was this myth a lie? Or was I looking in the wrong place? Hmm. Ah, okay. New theory may be it has nothing to do with Amethyst. What if it has everything to do with the ruined portal? After all, this is the only structure in the game that spawns with Crying Obsidian. And if you look around, it kind of seems like the portal exploded and released part of the nether. So what if at some point the portal got so unstable that it actually trapped the portal inside of the Crying Obsidian? Obsidian, after all, they are the same color, except there's no evidence of these portals ever exploding. Like, even if you break them, they don't blow up. Wait a minute. There is actually evidence. It was added in the same update, or maybe just the update before the respawn anchor. If you put glowstone in here, it looks like a nether portal. And if you fill it up too far, it blows up. And that could be the reason why Crying Obsidian has been created. And you know what else has the exact same color of purple? the Enderman, and particularly when the Enderman is teleporting. Look at this, ready? We toss that, boom. Purple particles, the exact same color as in the Crying Obsidian. So maybe they're harnessing that power in order to teleport. But how are Endermen using this block to teleport? Is there a way we can release its power? And if so, could it then allow us to teleport anywhere we want? It might not be impossible. If you think that's scary, did you know that the Warden has actually been sent from the Nether to destroy the Overworld? To test this theory, I need to see just how dedicated the Warden is to coming back to the Overworld. So if we head to the Nether and spawn in a Warden, I mean, if it wants to destroy the Overworld, it should run straight back there. I mean, that's its mission. You... No, that's just luck. There's no way, right? That's just pure luck. Surely not. Okay, we're spawning another one. It's like it doesn't even want to be in the nether. No matter how many I spawn, there's no way that exactly three of them just made a straight beeline. That has to be programmed into its code. So why doesn't it want to be in the nether? Why does it want to destroy the overworld? Wait, 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 hold up. I just want to check that this isn't some glitch that we're going through right now. If I spawn any other like vanilla mobs, let's say a cow. Yeah, this man's ain't care. Neither does the wolf. Nobody cares whatsoever. Uh, okay, I thought for a minute it was actually gonna walk through the portal there. But the warden, we spawned this dude in, and boom, he's straight in. Doesn't even care about these mobs making sounds. It's crazy, how? Okay, wait, I have an idea. What happens if we block off the portal? Where does it go then? Oh wait, we probably should block off the other side so it doesn't just walk around. All right, let's see. So if I spawn him in, okay. Doesn't seem to care much about the sound being made by that cat. I can literally see the sound being made and he's just wandering off. He didn't even try and walk to the portal. Wait, he just walked straight into the warp forest. Does that mean something? I mean, he, he seems dedicated to a mission. He didn't care about that cow. And now he's just sitting here. He's stopped. He beelined it to this warp forest. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get Guys, look around. Do you see these blocks? Hold up, hold up. Look at Skulk for a second. There's no way. How did I not see this before, guys? These blocks, they're so similar. They're like overworld versions of the warped forest. Hold up, I have another test to see whether he came from the nether originally. All nether mobs are literally fireproof. If we grab a wither and chuck him in lava, you can see, boom, doesn't affect him. It's the same with every mob in the nether. Only overworld mobs are affected by lava. So that means the warden should die to lava. No fire damage, none. Absolutely none. That's insane. So he has to come from the nether, but why would the warden want to infect the overworld and not the nether? Is it because there's skulk there and when he kills a mob, it spreads the skulk? I mean, that could be possible or is it something else? Game mode survival, cheats turned off and the seed 2-3-2-3. Two, three, two, three. We're creating this world fresh. So you know, everything you see today is 100% real. But why this seed? For some unknown reason, the code for this world has a 1 in 100 chance of breaking the game's anti loader. And that's basically just a bunch of programmer mumbo-jumbo for when it breaks. 
a single marble won't be able to spawn in that world no matter what. And since Mojang is a software development team, well, they've got all of that stuff so we can easily check if any missing mobs are in the game right by using a command. You just have to type slash test entities debug and no errors. Well, this world's a bust. There are 127 different entities in Minecraft. We just need to find a world where Alex is removed. Oh, come on. World number six, surely. You know what? I'm beginning to think this whole entity loader bug, whatever the thing is, just a myth. Because every single world has had zero errors. It hasn't worked once, not even for any mob, let alone Alex. All right, let's just give this another go here, guys. All right, slash test, entities, debug. Wait, entities failed to test. Error code, whatever that is, Minecraft wolf. Wait, no way. This is the first world with a missing entity. I mean, it's not Alex. But it is something. Wait, we should actually see if it's real, guys. Since it's Alex, it shouldn't matter. We'll just go ahead and open the world to land. Turn on creative mode. We'll switch into creative mode. Grab ourselves a wolf and chuck it down. So if this is real, it shouldn't spawn, right? Oh my goodness. It didn't spawn. You guys saw that. Ready? Ready? Bang. It doesn't spawn. Wait, we'll try summon a wolf here with the command. It says summon new wolf and it's just not there. No way. Okay, so the bug is a fact. Now I just need a world with an Alex arrow. World after world, I tested for entities. After 14 hours, I was ready to give up. Until I reached world 452. Take 450, I don't know, something or rather. Let's see, what do we got? Eric code, Minecraft player, Alex model. <laughs> no way! Yes! What? It finally worked. Okay, we are in business, baby. Now it's time to prove if that thing, which is supposed to be the result of corrupt player code and, well, Alex missing, is fact or cap. Now, I mean, there's actually very little note about its ability, so I'm just going to grab some basic resources right here, guys, before we, you know, hunt it down, because I don't want to caught, be caught unawares. Because, <sighs> I mean, it's pretty unclear what that thing actually wants. Reports claim that it aims to merge with other Steam entities until it becomes unstoppable. All right, now let's get on that mind grind. Give me some sticks. We're going to turn that into a nice old pickaxe. Ba boom, ba bang. Ba Hold on, where did my pickaxe? What? Huh? What happened to my wooden pickaxe? Did I just lag? Bro, wait, but if I lagged, I would still have the sticks and the planks left. The pickaxe just vanished into thin air. What? Okay, you know what? We're just going to grab some more wood. All right, second time of the charm. We'll just make another pickaxe. No stress, no foul. All right, it'll be all good to you guys. All right, there we go. Good to go. And I put the crafting table here, right, guys? I mean, there's dirt here. There had to be a block there that got rid of the grass. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm 100% sure I'm not just lagging or bugging out. Because the crafting table should have disappeared before the pickaxe if it was lag. And I would have the crafting table still in my inventory. Blocks don't just disappear into nowhere. Is it that thing that's making things disappear or is it another bug caused by the seed? I mean, the seed does have a pretty weird bug where entities just don't appear. Is it that thing or is it just another bug caused by the seed? You know what? It's too early to call this, guys. We need more evidence to get to the bottom of this mystery. I continued gearing up, trying to bait that thing into the open, but nothing, at least not yet. Bruh, not one single sign that that thing is real since the disappearing pickaxe, which honestly at this point I'm believing is just a glitch. You know what? Since he's not going to keep me company, Mr. Doggo right here, I'm naming you, uh, not that thing. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to explore the world together because I'm honestly lonely at this point. He ate my nine bones. You greedy little pig. It doesn't matter. Come with me. Let's go. Am I doing something wrong? Wait, maybe we could switch to an Alex skin and that would force that thing to spawn. But what would even happen, bro? Like, the model doesn't even exist. You guys saw it. Wait, hot. Bro, what the? My wolf is just attacking the other dogs. Hot, hold up. Do they do that to tame dogs? I mean, I mean, wolves can sometimes be hostile. So maybe it's just protecting me from them. Is that a thing? Guys, I haven't tamed a dog in ages. Let me know in the comments down below. What the flip? Bro, he just zoomed up. He is moving at the speed of sound. What the? Guy, he is moving so quick. What is going on? He's not even following me anymore. Oh, we got to chase that wolf. What is going on? What the? Guy, it's jumping like five blocks at a time. I can't even jump that high. What the? Okay, we need to follow him. What is happening? Bro, hold up. Hold up. Something is seriously wrong with that wolf. Bro, what? It's just attacking everything. Okay, this is definitely not normal. Okay, maybe that entity error thing doesn't just cause, you know, one mob not to load, but it breaks just entities in general? Bro, this is insane. What is it doing? Do 
I, I don't understand. Holy, what the? I'm just gonna kill him, guys. This guy's out of control. What the, bro? How fast he moves so quick and literally just flew through the air. In the world. Wait, hold up. That thing. That. It's that thing. It's gone. It just, but it just came out of my dog. Bro, what? Hold up. How did that? Unless, was that that thing the whole time? Maybe it wasn't a wolf. But that would mean it can transform into wolves. I mean, it would make sense. It has four extra limbs. Wait a minute. Could it transform into any mob? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we've got to find that. We've got to find that thing, guys. I need proof. I Maybe I just panicked there? But I'm certain I'm sorry. I need a replay on that, guys. Literally go back and check for me. Over there, right there. But it's... No? No? What? I saw... Okay, we need to get the high ground. What? Okay, am I just losing it? Am I freaking out right now? What the? See it? There, 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 there! What? Literally every time I see it, it just vanishes. We've lost sight, so where did he go? go? Right there, right there, right there! Bro, you saw that, right? Hold up, we're going to that position. How is he How is he just doing that? I, I, I don't understand. Wait, what did he leave? Do you guys see that behind him? What is this? Do we touch it? What happens if we touch it? Nothing. What is it? He's just left this stuff behind. Okay, you know what? We can just investigate this calmly, all right? That thing supposedly only wants another Steve. I'm Steve. I'm Steve. But I, was my skin... Was my skin always like this? But no. Ho, did I forget to load my skin? No, I never forget to load my skin, guys. Ho, I had a, how did this happen? Okay, I don't know, but we should be able to just reset our skin normally, right? Skin, reset, it's the eye straight. You do not have permission to do that. Wait, why can't I change my skin? I'm, I'm literally the owner of the world. Unless, is this the curse of that thing? Wait, why would he want to turn me into Steve unless he's forcing me to be a Steve so that that thing can kill me and merge with my account? He's gonna corrupt my account. No, 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 no. Okay, we are way too exposed out here in the open, guys. I am not losing my account in today's video. You know what? We barely know anything about that thing. We need to hide. I'm, I'm going straight into this cave. We're going down. Nope, nope, nope. Down, down, down. We ain't turning back around. All right, it looks safe down in this cave. Thank goodness for that. Okay, we're just gonna bring our hair right. What was the... No, wait, hold up. It doesn't have the glowing eyes. It's not... But It's just a normal state, but it's not possible in the game. Okay, you know what? Nothing's making sense. We just go into another cave. It's fine. It's fine. It's chill. We're chill. We're chill. We'll just hide somewhere. Uh, no. No. There's two of them! Wait, no. Is it that thing? It's split up into two Steve's, guys. No, no. Can it do that? I, I don't know what it can and can't do. Okay, we're caught. We're gonna, we're gonna get out of here. We'll just kill him. We'll kill him. Get out of here. Get out of here, bro. What the, bro? It's body just explode. What is happening? What is going on? What is this? Guys, what is going on right It just resurrected. Right. Oh, well, fine. We don't have to go that way. We can go the other way. We can get rid of you. We, we don't have to. We don't, we don't have to do that, all right? We just, goodbye. Thank you. All right. You know what? Okay, we'll just go down. We'll just, oh, flip! What the lava wall? Where did that even come from? All right, we can just go. We can do this all day. I'll just, just keep sending your limbs flying, all right? You know what? Your limbs will fly again. What is this? What is going on? Guys, what is... No, 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 no. Wait, is that the other stick? Bro, do they just resurrect infinitely? What is happening right now? Okay, there's two of them. There's the lava wall there. We're just chilling. You know what? I'm, I'm just a normal Steve. I'm not. What is happening? Guys, what's going on? Bro, what? They're being... What is going on? They're like connected somehow? What is happening? Guys, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. What is going on? What is Steve doing? What is happening, guys? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Bro, they just combined. They just combined. Wait, what's going on with my screen? What's happening? Wait, no. The same beam's coming towards me. He's saying to me, he's trying to combine me. To Entity 303. All right, I've loaded Minecraft Bedrock Edition back up again. All right, guys, loading the world. Fingers crossed. I really, I honestly don't want anything to happen. Wait, what does the sign say? What is that? Hedge out? How? 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 Sign change. Wait, does that help in Swedish? Disc 11. The only broken and shattered disc in Minecraft, lasting exactly one minute and 11 seconds. But most people agree, it sounds like a player running on stone, using a flint and steel, then pulling out a book, before finally running away on stone and then dirt or gravel. Now, 
there has been little proof to support these claims, except from popular YouTuber O1G, who believed the disc has more to tell us, and all we had to do was listen to it backwards. As when he did it, incredibly scary things began happening to him and his world. The most we can do is go to our menu, options, music, and change the volume levels of different sounds. We can't edit any raw audio files, and I think I found a way. So what we need to do is come down to the start menu of my PC here and type in percent app data percent. This is going to show us all the different files of our computer programs, but what we want are the game files inside the dot Minecraft folder. Oh boy, I really should not be messing with this because I don't know what I'm doing. I just hope that what I read on the internet is true. We need to come to assets here since audio is an asset of the game. Go to objects and here we've got an absolute ton of different files. These are supposedly all the different audio files in the game, but what we're looking for is a folder called F8. F8, perfectly. That's what we're looking for. And even now, all of the different music discs have these crazy file names to try and stop us from finding disc 11. Wait, this one. This here is our file. This is some random file type. It's not an audio file. I can't open this in anything. I've got an idea. I don't know if this is going to work, but if we just rename the file here, guys, and put .ogg on the end, that should run it as an audio file, which we can open up in my audio software. So let's hit enter. Okay, there it is, guys. Look at that. It's gained a little uh, audio logo. And now all we need to do is open the file. But as soon as I tried to load the file in my audio software, it crashed and I had to completely reinstall the program. So, in the meantime, what happens if your friend dies and never respawns? Do I have your consent to be involved with this experiment? No! But I'm kind of curious, so yes! Great, thank you. Perfect. What? You have consented to this. Stop, stop. I'm joking. <laughs> Why'd you kill me, bro? It's all part of the experiment. Just don't respawn, all right? Don't. What do you mean, don't respawn? Just stay there and don't screen? respawn. What? Don't respond what do you mean? for I just nine, stay here? Nine hours. That's what it. do you mean nine hours? I'm going home. I'm out. Yeah, honestly, guys, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, has anything changed? Nope. I mean, that water's a little bit glitched, but I don't really count that as spooky. Um, We're seeing a bunch of mobs out here. Yeah. I mean, we can check who's on the server. It's just me and Ethan still. He actually didn't log off, surprisingly. <laughs> he, he stayed for the experiment. There's no Billy, all right? No Billy ever joined the server. So I think this is absolute trash can right now, guys. All right, we can check chat. We can even see in chat that no one will have joined. Billy has joined the game. Billy has left the game. However, the Blood Enderman certainly is not Frank. As you can see in the bottom left corner, I am currently using Minecraft version 1.3.1, which was released all the way back in 2011. We're using game mode survival with cheats turned off with this seed and the world type larger biomes so that we can get a desert temple at spawn to loot straight away. And we're in. The blood enderman is the result of a bug in the original enderman code. So to prove its existence, I need to force this bug into the latest version of the game. Holy, these graphics are so bad, what? Bro, I can barely even see. There is so much fog. At least we got the temple, but with a desert biome, I don't know how we're going to find an enderman out here, bro. So after looting the nearby temples, I waited for the moon to rise. Holy, bro. I looted like two desert temples and look at me balling. I got the drip out here. I forgot how good desert temple loot used to be in the old versions and it's getting dark. Okay, maybe we step... Ooh. Enderman. Enderman right there. Oh, and a second one too. We can actually block with our sword at this version, which is wild. Okay, so I need to figure out how to force these entities into the latest version. Now I've got two Endermen, so I've got two chances. You know what? Since it's called the Blood Enderman, I feel like it would make sense as blood chests. We're going to kill one of them. Mobs, that was so scary in this version. Oh, flip, flip, stay away. Come on. Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. Get him. Ow, ow, he hurts, he hurts. All right. Oh my gosh, they do so much more damage in this version. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we've got the block up, we've got the block up, and oh no, he'd move. Oh, this is so hard to kill. Why does he have so much health? Okay, we got one. We got one. Gosh, we're literally on four hearts. All right, the bloodshed is done, but we also need to exploit the bug. Before version 1.4, Mojang forgot to set any teleportation limits for Endermen, allowing them to teleport infinite distances, including across world files, which created the glitch known as the Blood Enderman. Okay, here we go, guys. We just got to hit it and then immediately crash the game. All right, I've got Alt F4 ready to go. Oh my gosh. Okay, he needs to come to me. Quit! 
Did that work? Did it work? I don't know. Okay, but I force quit the game, freezing the Enderman in the teleport animation. I saw him teleport. So when we load it into the newest version of the game, even though everything else will have changed and the entities will be gone, the metadata, including the teleporting Enderman, should reappear. All right, I've ported the world to the current latest version, 1.19.2, and I'm recording everything using replay so that if anything strange or out of the ordinary happens, we can go back and see it in real time. What the? Why am I in the ocean? I'm literally drowning straight up. This isn't the same world. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Bro, and it even has the wool in the desert temple as well. But all my items are gone, and all the entities gone, and the timer day didn't save. Okay, did it not port over? Did I mess up the transfer? I don't know. It, it should still be saved in the metadata, but I just need to be careful, because there is very little information about the Blood Enderman's existence. I searched for days and found nothing but regular Enderman. I had to think outside the box. <sighs> this is not working. I can't just spend every night looking around for Enderman. It's just gonna take forever. And okay, you guys aren't Enderman. I don't even care about you, bro. Not to mention the Enderman that I have seen completely and absolutely not. Okay, there's an Enderman right there. See, look, look, normal. No blood, no nothing. I swear I've looked at every Enderman in the overworld. But that's where my theory comes in. Maybe the blood Enderman isn't in the overworld. So why don't we look somewhere else? Minecraft's code saves each dimension as a separate world. Since the nether and end are technically worlds and the blood Enderman is known to teleport across worlds, maybe it's in the nether or end game files, and well, since it's much easier to go to the nether and I've actually been planning for that and getting obsidian, we're gonna go there first. I don't really want to go looking for an end portal, but I will do it if I have to in order to prove whether or not the Blood Enderman is real. All right, let's head inside and see what we got going on. All right, oh my gosh, did the zombie just go through the portal? Bro, that was supposed to be me. Let's see, do we see anything out of the ordinary here, guys? Do you see anything whatsoever? Okay, wait, over there, Enderman, wait. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot deal with this right now. Seriously, really? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I need to go investigate, bro. Oh my gosh. What? It was there. It's not there. I mean, it could have teleported. I mean, it looked like it. Maybe it was a magma cube? Because yeah, no, it wouldn't be an Enderman because the Enderman spawned in the Soul Sand Valley in this version of the game, right? There's nothing here though. What? Okay. I don't know whether I'm just overreacting because it could have teleported away, but Endermen don't usually spawn in this biome and they don't usually teleport away unless you look at them. I'm just gonna pause the video and we're just gonna see whether it was there because this could be important. Look, I might be overreacting, it might just be nothing, but it is my job to check every single detail and see if we can see anything out of the ordinary. So here's the video footage recording from just then. Okay, we came into the nether. No, that's me. Right there. There, there, there. there. Ready? Where is it? Where is it? There. There was definitely something black there and that isn't there anymore. I mean, but is it at the Enderman or Blood Enderman? It's just too small to see that. It, it literally disappears. Oh, I can't be sure. This footage isn't good enough. We were taking, we were recording replay footage though. I think this is about the time it happened. Yes, this is me literally coming through the portal right now. And let's, let's check up here. Okay, there's no Enderman, but there definitely was. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna perch right here. I'm gonna set the speed to 0 0.5. The minute something appears, we hit pause. All right, ready? Play. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Bang! The Enderman spawned right there. I knew it. Okay, but it's it's literally just a normal Enderman. Are you serious? What? Bro, it's literally just a normal Enderman. What? Oh my God. I can't believe I thought that this was the... Yep. Regular guy. I don't know what to do. Since the blood Enderman can teleport across worlds, some reports claim it can also teleport Minecraft's code, causing the game to break. Now, I was on the lookout. I don't understand. How is that... That grass, that grass was not there before. I mean, even if it wasn't, was there before, it's not natural generation. Bro, why is there grass in the nether? Unless, wait, it's like the glitches that's supposed to happen to the world when the blood enderman is around. Did it teleport the overworld terrain generation code into the nether? I mean, that's possible, but then again, regular enderman can bring blocks across, but not flowers and grass. That That's, those aren't regular blocks. Like. Enderman can't carry those normally, but we didn't see any other Enderman than that guy. And this is a ton of blocks. Okay, maybe maybe it has something to do with the dirt. Maybe we can use the dirt with like a sa Bones, TNT. Where did I get all this stuff? I didn't have this stuff. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is the same inventory I had when I, in 1.3.1. But where did it, it just appeared out of nowhere? I didn't have it this entire time. The only logical explanation is the blood Enderman moved my player data code from the previous world to here. Do you guys realize what that means? The blood Enderman could go to any version, copy anything, shift it to the world that I'm on. 
which means he can transfer across worlds. Wait, I need to check whether my theory is correct right now. Okay, wait. We're going to open my single player world to land, all right? Survival mode, cheats turned off. Start land world. Okay, is anything happening? Nope. Blood enemy! Right there, right there, right there! Bro, what the? What's going on? What's going on? Wait. I don't understand. He seems to be teleporting all over the place, but he hasn't done anything around us. I, I don't see him. I don't. Unless it's not happening in the nether. It's happening in the overworld. We've got to go back. 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 Go, 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 go. Okay, we're at. What's going on with my screen? Bro, why am I still in the nether? Is it not loaded correctly? Bro, is this Minecraft or. This could be the Blood Enderman. Is he like teleporting like pixels on my screen? He's got it into my computer. At this rate, the Blood Enderman would break my entire PC. I needed to stop it. I, I have been grinding the mines. I've got a ton of resources and now I'm on my way out back to the surface, okay? We're gonna build a 1000 IQ lava trap to kill the Blood Enderman because once it touches the lava, it'll be burning on fire. It doesn't matter where it teleports, it will still die. Let's get out of here. I don't know if the Blood Enderman likes villages, but I figured it was the safest place if we need to run back to a house. So I reckon we're gonna build it out here. As I rushed to build the trap, things only got worse. The world around me started rapidly changing. The trap's done, but the problem is how do we get the Blood Enderman to fall for this? I have a theory, but it could go very wrong. I'm gonna use myself as the bait. Since it wants information, I'm gonna disable my antivirus. Here we go, real-time protection off. This is going to give the Blood Enderman access. If he can really teleport files, he can now access my entire PC. I really hope I don't regret this. Come on, come on. Where is this guy? Bro there, there, there he is. All right, he's just gonna get, he's getting closer, he's getting closer. He's here, he's here, drop it, drop it in. Yes, he's, where did he go? He's not burning. Wait, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, help, stop, help, 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 help. My PC completely crashed. And when I rebooted, everything, was gone. At least my audio software had finally reinstalled, so I loaded up disc 11. Yo, it actually worked. Check it out, guys. This is the audio waveform for disc 11 inside of Audition. But what we're here to do, guys, is reverse the file. So let's select the entire waveform. We're going to come here to effects and now click reverse. And boom, there it is, disc 11 backwards. Now, let's go ahead and save this file so we can listen to it in the game. So let's go ahead and create a completely brand new Minecraft world. And here we go, guys. A pretty normal looking Minecraft spawn, if I do say so myself. But that's not what we're here for. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a jukebox, obviously, and the important piece, disc 11, which has now been altered to be completely backwards. Let's go ahead and place down our jukebox. Grab out our music disc. And in three, two, one, go. All right, I'm not hearing anything. Oh, there it is, it's starting. Oh my gosh, guys, it sounds so cursed. What? Oh, whoa! Oh my, what is happening? Yo, this sounds so messed up backwards. Okay, I can hear the footsteps going back and back in time. All right, we're listening for some sort of meaning or hidden message, I think. Or anything? What's that? I'm so confused. I'm so co guys. I'm getting shivers down my skin. Oh, this is so strange. Whoa! What was that? Yo, guys, there's smoke beginning to come out of the jukebox. Why is that happening right now? Okay, the jukebox is smoking. I'm just gonna stand a little bit far away from that. What, why, huh? What is that sound? What was that? Okay, he's like running backwards now. What? What? The jukebox just exploded. What the flip? What the actual flip? Okay, that, what, I, I don't know what just happened there, guys. That was terrifying. I don't know. I just, okay, I'm gonna get it together. Get it together, Jordan. I don't know. Did you guys hear anything in particular? Do you have any theories about what Disc 11 might be trying to tell us? What message it is hiding? Let me know in the comments down below. Wait a minute. If Disc 11 was able to modify the world, it looks like we got a hay bale here and some coals. Maybe there was a campfire below the jukebox which allowed it to have smoke. That's That makes logical sense to me. But how did the campfire get there and how did it explode? The only way is if, if 
the disc was able to modify the world, but is it possible then that perhaps it modified the world in other ways as well? Okay, let's see. Do we see anything out there? Okay, that seems pretty normal here, guys. Oh my flip. Oh my flip. What? Okay, guys, somebody go back to the start of this video and look when I join into this world. I want to know whether or not this was here at the start of the video. I mean, we created a brand new world. You all saw me do it. Holy flip. Bro, what are these, like, floating dead bushes? How are these even existing right now? Wait, if I place a block next to them, will they update? This is so odd. Wait, if I place... This is so broken, guys. We got random floating vines. That should be impossible here, guys. Is this what? A village? House? Water? Even things from other dimensions. We've got a few nether chunks over here. This is so, so strange. Look, literal obsidian just covering the ground right here. We've got lava starting, forest fires, shipwreck is just suddenly floating up in the side. It's like an airship of some sort. The end? How did the end and the nether dimensions get in here? Then it seems to get a little bit back to normal. And then the world just literally breaks. What is that? Guys, what is going on here? There's just this giant half flat mountain. These weird floating bits, trees. This is so cursed. Wait, what is that over here, guys? Yo, bro, what is this? Holy flip. All right, let's go in here and see if we can find anything else strange or unusual. What is this, guys? Wait, what does that sound? Hold up. I recognize that, guys. That sounds like disc 13. Wait a minute. Why is disc 13 playing? We entered the void in disc 13 playing. That's not a coincidence, I don't think. I really don't like this at all, guys. What? My game just crashed! What? No! Thank you to all of these guys for making today's video possible. You're my new favorite EY Mega fans. If you want a shout out, just click the join button below this video. Scroll down and click EY Mega Fan.